Hello there, everybody! My name is Argolfump, and today I'm playing Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. As part of a 2014 Mega Nancy Drew Games Marathon, I'm playing all of the games in the Nancy Drew series in preparation for game number 30, which will be released later this year. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. So this is Nancy Drew Danger on Deception Island. I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about this game, but um, first I'm going to talk about my girlfriend, Katie. Basically, um, she was asking me, Michael, what are you going to be doing this week? And it's like, well, I I'm preparing for uh, Nancy Drew Danger on Deception Island. And she's like, well, what's that? So I had her play this game. We played the game for about 20 minutes. And she... She basically said that this is the worst game ever, it is no fun whatsoever, it is just stupid and boring and bad, and I will talk about some of the reasons why Katie does not like this game later on. You'd think Katie would like this game because there's a character named Katie in the game, right? So, uh, sorry, uh, I'm playing this game in front of a live studio audience, so I'm reading comments here on YouTube. People are posting as I am uh, playing this game. I think there might be like a 20 second delay. But other than that, you know, this is pretty much live, and um, this is a problem. I, I tend to be babbling on and on and on instead of actually playing the game, so let us officially get started. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. So right here, my girlfriend started clicking the screen randomly, trying to get something to happen. She didn't know. It's like, just wait for the game to start. Just wait. You don't need to click. Katie? Hi. You must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. And then once again, Great my girlfriend... Oh. I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel. And now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess. Parts are missing. Others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? So yeah, my girlfriend was clicking all over the screen trying to get Nancy to go down down the dock. It's like, no, no, Katie, just just wait for the scene to be over and then you'll actually get to control Nancy. This is an opening scene. Are you going to be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. We better call the sheriff. Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. But this is a crime. It needs to be reported. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town. Or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? So, so, um, um... You need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. So two complaints my girlfriend had. She started complaining about the game instantly. Uh, number one, the conversation with Katie. It's like, what's the point of having a conversation when Katie's going to say the same thing no matter which option you choose? And then number two, my girlfriend just facepalmed when she said GPS means global positioning system. I had to remind her, this game came out in October of 2003. October 3rd, 2003. So GPSs weren't as common back then. I 
what's in here. Don't know. Don't know. We'll find out later. Um, Nancy... Nancy did not bring her mom jeans this time around. She brought some things from her other cases, but no, no mom jeans. <laughs> so, the main reason my girlfriend decided she hated this game, and I, I have to agree with her, this is the first puzzle, really. It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too! It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope... This is not a very good puzzle to start the game off with. I do have to agree, it's not the best puzzle to start the game off with. Because it's basically, you have to guess which pipes go where. And you can't tell which pipe goes into which pipe because we don't have male ends and female ends, like in real pipes. It's basically just a, a guessing game. You have to try every single piece until you find the one which works. And you'll notice that we can't, um, say, um, build from the end. So this is the final piece, right? We can't put that piece in place. We actually have to start from the bottom up. So it's this really just turns into a guessing game of trying every single piece in hopes of figuring out which piece is the piece you need. Fortunately, I, I, I sort of have the answers, so... So that was what my girlfriend Katie was complaining about. There, there are no sink pipes like that usually. And the timer thingy is gone. Yes, that's right. Somebody pointed that out. Somebody in the studio audience. So here's my question here, um, folks. Uh, which Nancy Drew game should I have my girlfriend play? This goes here. Because this was not a good introduction to the series for her. It, it was not. So which which game would be a great game for a newcomer? For a, a girlfriend who is suspicious that I spend more time playing Nancy Drew than, than like, actual working or stuff. This goes here. I mean, this puzzle goes super quickly when you know what the answer is. I've got a picture here. But when you don't know what the answer is... <laughs> it 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 took her like 15 minutes. The pipes all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. All right, so people are suggesting that the good good starter puzzles uh, Shadow at the Water's Edge is Secret at Shadow Ranch really a good one because I know um the person the woman who does Nancy Drew's voice, Lonnie Manella. She, uh, that was the one Nancy Drew game she tried out. She tried out that one, and then she died on the fruit picking challenge, and she was just mad. <laughs> She's like, that... <laughs> it just made her mad. She didn't like that. So we need to solve that puzzle to learn about Andy Jason. I think if you try to visit Andy Jason's place without solving the puzzle, it will be closed. Let's make a sandwich. Ugh, jellyfish. Alright. Baking soda and peanut butter. Ooh, chocolate. I think this might be poisonous. I think the baking soda might make it poisonous. You gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says, sorry guys, gotta go. Hmm. Everybody's suggesting a shadow at the water's edge, so maybe I will try that out with my girlfriend. Thank you for, uh, thank you for the hill. Thank you for the help, everybody. So, to make an easy sandwich, you just, like, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Also, ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, ice cream sandwich works? Ice cream sandwich works? Yes. 
Oh yeah, ice cream sandwich and some mayonnaise with some mustard. Freedom mustard? Okay, so I'll keep that for Katie. This is Deception Island and the other island. So the other main puzzle that you solve here is it's also kind of a pain. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be Yeah, so I mean, it's a good game. I like this game, but it does start off with some not so nice puzzles, like like these ones. I mean, it starts off with that that pipe puzzle and the book puzzles, also painful. So I would have to agree with my girlfriend's complaints that the game sort of starts off with bad puzzles. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. But once the puzzles were over, my girlfriend sort of liked it. She liked the talking to the characters and, um, you know, learning more about the mystery and things like that. What do you mean? This orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. <laughs> But the fishery service has the last word. They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally, I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. See you in a bit. Enjoy. The music in this game is nice and the atmosphere is good too. Um, we need to look at this. This note wasn't here before, was it? Uh-oh. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. Do, 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 do. So we are talking to Katie. What's up? I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. So now we can meet Holt Scotto. Uh, we could have met him earlier, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Grab the helmet. And I am not going to need any clues or hints. I know what to do in order to solve this game. I am super fantastic. I I did, like... <laughs> I spent a long time preparing for this game. <laughs> so, we start off by talking to Holt because Jenna is too busy, right? Hang on, I'll be right with you. Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. Holt Scotto. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? Call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone? Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I, I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, it's the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale. Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Meddlesome. Who's Cadborosaurus? 
Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it a snake horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was the snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy would be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. He'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Okay, so when I played this game with my girlfriend, she she started going off on a history lecture about Shanghaiing, and like the, there's the underground Seattle tour I think you can take. Um, yeah, I'm like, Ugh, Katie, Katie, we're playing we're playing a video game now, history lesson later, but yeah, this is Holt Scotto. I basically like to think of him, a, of him as a parrot. Uh, people here are saying he looks like a seagull. Is he a seagull or a sea monster? Not sure. Anyway, uh, Caddy, the sea monster. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. No offense, but you don't look like a politician. <laughs> Why, thank you, young lady. I'll take that as a compliment. I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalist. It's a wonder he can still walk upright. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. So, um, Holt is running for Harbor master. Is this a good idea? Would you vote for Holt Scotto as the uh, as the Harbor master? Do you think he might, like, overthrow the entire government once they elect him? You know, he'll, he starts off as harbor master, then he overthrows the government and becomes governor of Washington. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. I tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. So wait, what's this around his hand? Is that like... What is that? He has a rope around his... The idea is to cut down... What was that around his hand? Kind of business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. And my, my girlfriend was confused. Just like, what container? I'm like, the container that he put in your inventory. See you around. Yo ho ho. He's a pirate! He said yo ho ho, therefore he is a pirate. Look at those boots. Hmm, it looks like he's sort of got like the exact same animation as um, the guy from the previous game, Harlan Bishop. I've noticed a lot of similarities between characters in the Nancy Drew games uh, every now and then. And this is a crab. The male Dungeness crab, you'll see, has a thinner belly than the female. Females have wider uh, bellies. Abdomens, sorry. These are for puzzles later on. In uh, junior mode, Nancy says something about it. Can I get for you, Nancy? But speaking of characters who look like other characters, she basically, Jenna here, looks basically like uh, Ingrid Corey from the previous game. She has the same animations and stuff. Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darn if she wasn't right. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. 
It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. Our condolences? Your condolences? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. What kind of things? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat, because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Ow. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? So somebody said that the thing on Holt's arm could have been the uh, little, little crab box. Makes sense. Makes sense. We have some puzzles here. This is an easy one. You want to what make a royal thing? flush. Good question. And I've said it, and the others like it have been on the wall in the same since the place was built. So this is going to be spades. I made a royal flush. Yay! Hooray! 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 Do we have a book here? I think a this book is about on sea monsters. Very cool. Cadbordosaurus. Whoa, dinosaurs. <laughs> and somebody does have a good point. Who wants who wants a postcard of uh, the, the crab abdomen? Really? That's a weird thing to postcard. Hi Nancy, how's it going? Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. Is Andy Jason in here now by any chance? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. Instead of the chowder, do you think I could try one of those muffins? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. Yay, we get all sorts of free food from her. Mmm, mm, that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. So she basically just gives away clam chowder for free. Okay. So this one is going to be clubs. Alright. Looks good. Looks like a queen, ace. Looks like this one needs to be a king. I made a royal flush. Yay, yay, yay. And then this one is going to be diamonds. A girl's best friend. <laughs> I'm lost. Okay, um... Hold on a second, everybody. I, I've got myself lost again. Okay. You can do this, Michael. And then this is going to be Ace. I made a royal flush. Hooray, hooray, everybody. Hooray, hooray. Okay, so, you, um, 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 quiz. Right. Sun always sets in east. No. West. That looks right. Okay, okay, so I, what I, what got me distracted is my notes have all the answers down here. 138, 43. Yeah. 138, 43. Perfect. Left is port. Good. East? Yes. Vote. 
for Holt. Correct. A little dipper. Am I smart or what? You're super smart, Nancy. Okay, shooter, um, masts. Very good. This is the fisherman. Perfect. You can look up these things on Nancy's computer. That should do it. I have to bring him a male Dungeness crab? Do, 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 do. And I am no longer lost, everybody. Now I know what to do. Okay, so, um, back to food. Jenna just gives away delicious food. Hi, Nancy. How's How does going? she make money? It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. Yeah, I mean, like, ooh, wow, that's cheap. Okay, so it looks like she only makes types of, um, uh, types of soda. Wait, no, soda. That's coffee. Coffee. So five fifty. So the clam chowder is basically like her big seller, five fifty, and she's just giving it away to Nancy for free. How does she make money? I mean, she's trying to get Nancy hooked on it, of course, but Nancy's only visiting. Alright, I need to find a female crab. I mean a male crab. The male crab is behind a rock. So is that a male crab? No, because it has a wide abdomen. These would be great for rock skipping. Hey, I already have some rocks. Wait, somebody's suggesting people buy multiple clam chowders, but that was a huge bowl of clam chowder. Sorry, Diamond1234. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Male crab. Male crab. Got it. And what's this? S S. Maybe this broke off from a ship. And what's this? Aha! There's something in that bottle. But it's stuck on those rocks. So we need to get the bottle out. Um which you have a different thing for all of them? This is the middle one. This is your solution for the middle rock. The left rock has a different solution. The right rock has a different solution. And we get music. Music for being fantastic. What? No, no, no. Seriously, what? Huh. So now that we've actually, uh, what do we do? So that was where we were, whatever. Okay. I, I was confused because you could sometimes see a, a bottle there, but now that I got the bottle, the bottle isn't there. I don't know, whatever. Bing, bing, bing. Let's break into the lighthouse. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out, which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. So, Holt is definitely an angry pirate. Angry pirate. Go! Seriously, angry, angry pirate. Angry pirate. Is that a scarlet handprint? on the no trespassing sign. Those scarlet handprints are everywhere. Oh, okay, so the bottle was here. Then I'm confused. Wasn't there a bottle like there? I have no sense of direction anymore. Okay, um, we are going to go get that thing from uh, Holt getting the GPS. Like, seriously, Holt came out of nowhere. Where was he hiding? You again? I'm sorry for trespassing like that. So what do you want? I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. 
I'll take care of the crab for you. I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right is Reed. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. So, I mean, like, Nancy biked right over there, so... So Holt was on his bicycle riding right after her? See you around. Yeah, whatever. Why were you in the neighborhood, Holt? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? You know, your clown chatter really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. I found a bottle floating in the water with a strange message inside. Most, if not all, the notes you find in bottles around here were put there by Hilda Swenson. She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well... She pretty much died then, too. What do you mean? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. Yeah, and somebody makes a good point. Now Holt is in the cafe, so Holt managed to beat Nancy to the lighthouse and back to the cafe. What is this craziness? And now she uses notes and bottles to communicate with people? Trouble is, nobody can understand what she's trying to say. All she ever writes is letters and numbers and that one word, Rosebud. I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week, and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. Ooh, somebody in the live studio audience has a good idea. Maybe there are two Holtz. One Holt is running for Harbor Master, and the other is running against him for Harbor Master. Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? Yeah, okay, so, yeah, two, two Holtz. Holt the pirate and Holt the politician. That makes sense. And now we're going to Katie's bolt, be bolt, not Holt, boat, her boat. I'm just going to stop talking now. Uh, we're going to Katie's, and I am going to have to solve the puzzle now. So, um, yeah, let's solve this puzzle quickly. One slice of wood, one glass slide. There, this is going to look so cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Awesome. Amazing. Okay, so now we have this puzzle. So this is a little easier in junior mode. Um, they split up some of the books in junior mode. No, I mean they split up some of the books in senior mode. I'll, I'll explain later. So for example, these things, those are together. Those are stuck together as one book, unless I'm mistaken, which I, I don't think I am. But it's not too difficult in that you basically have three different rows. You have like one row on the left, one row on the right, and one row in the middle. So just try to make, not, not rows, columns. Just try to make like three different columns. So this is going to be, um, hmm. That there, and then this, no. Okay, that's a good column. And let's see, these tall things are going to go there. So this is going to have... Uh, that sticks out a little bit. Um, that doesn't stick out nearly enough. Um, that there. And that there. No... There we go. Hmm. 
So it's good, except for this little thing. This little thing goes somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait. Yes. Yes. Solved. Round of applause for me. So why do we have to put all the books in such a complicated, specific way? They have the same puzzle. Nancy Drew, uh, you know, curse not uh, uh, the the Legend of the Crystal Skull. Why can't Nancy just turn the books? You know, I would just load the books in normally. Complex morphological issues, microscopic tracheid analysis, microtome surfacing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Check out that woman. Hmm. Might have to get a new girlfriend now. You know, I bet she likes Nancy Drew games. What's up? So let's see, we're gonna talk to her about everything. Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth fine harbor master he'd make. I talked to Jenna Deblum when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Why would she spread rumors about you? She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number's 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. See you in a bit. Enjoy. So, um, as I said, I, I played this game with my girlfriend. We only played for, like, uh, 20 minutes or so, and most of that time was spent on the, uh, pipe puzzle. Pipe puzzle, we went to town, and we talked to the people at the place. I mean, we talked to the people at, um, the cafe, and we talked... Yeah, we talked to the people at the cafe, and we went through Whale World, and that is it. So, she has no idea about this part of the game. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now, if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say, shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? Plywood? You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. So, we are going to have to call Dr. Predavucci. And you might remember her from Nancy Drew, uh, Legend of the Crystal Skull. She, uh, her picture is used as the picture of Henry's mother in, uh, Legend of the Crystal Skull. So apparently, after, after writing this book, she, uh, got married to Mr. Bolet and had a child named Henry. Hmm, very nice. Or she kept her maiden name. Uh, she probably kept her maiden name. Right, right, right. Okay, so, she's the host of Wisconsin's favorite radio program, What Would Am I? <laughs> So we are going to call her because she is a Russian expert. In the previous game, Haunted Carousel, we called Anton Sukov a Russian expert. Also in um, uh, Curse of Blackmore Manor, we are going to call a Russian expert. Apparently, Russians are experts at 
everything. Everything. Isn't there also a Russian expert in, um... This is Dr. Predovichu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds, and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. I already did that. And are you near the sample in case you need to refer back to it? Okay, so uh, White Wolf of Icicle Creek. You also call somebody who's an expert in that game who may or may not be a Russian expert. Uh, people in the studio audience are suggesting that that was just somebody who worked on the game and they just used her picture. You know, rather than actually drawing a picture, which makes sense. Yep, I'm right by it. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Hmm. Okay. Luan. Luan. All right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. So now we call Casey and let him know that we have finished uh, figuring that stuff out. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before. About the driftwood? Never heard of you. Now if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. Okay, so somebody asked what happens if you do this wrong. Um, Casey just comes up with the... He's like, what? What are you talking about? This is craziness. That's basically what happens. I think I've only done that once, though. So we need to find more of the bottles. Another message. We want to find all four of them in order to solve the puzzle. Hmm. So let's see, you go forward and uh, hold on a second. People in the studio audience are arguing about um, who the culprit will be in the next game. They are predicting a shoe will be the culprit. Well, it is a shoe-in for a uh, best Nancy Drew culprit. Hmm, nice little kayaking area. So, um... Uh, we only have like two suspects so far, right? We only have we have Holt and Jenna. We haven't met Andy Jason Katie is also a suspect though It might be Katie There's a bottle So what you want to do is put all four of those messages together No signal no signal. No signal. Arr, I'll show you no signal Nancy without her signal and stuff.
What you want to do is put all four of those messages together for the barefoot tracker. Hooray! So we had 48, 42, 517, 123, 8, 615, 8, oh, 08. Now we have a new waypoint, which is way, way cool. Victory music! Victory music. I've never been to this beach before. Me neither, Nancy. Me neither. So with this puzzle, you want to spell out the word rosebud using the flags, which we, we saw those flags inside the area. In junior mode, they only have the seven letters for Rosebud. Now that I'm a, a master sleuth, they have uh, two extras. Is that it? Seven, and then that two? Oh no, I can't solve this puzzle. Hold on a second. It's the cross, and then it's the sideways thingy, and then it's the blue dot, and then it's going to be that thingy, and then it's going to be that one, and then it's going to be the square and that. Right. I don't know what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy. Congratulations, I hope you enjoyed finding this thing, because we just got started. You are going... Send the message from the lighthouse. Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, and the final thing? This is the weirdest story I've ever read. You'll notice that these are all, all different words, all different letter words from the uh, cafe, like Alpha, Sierra, Juliet. So, we type them all out to get ask. So far, so good. <laughs> Nancy. I'm getting there. Ta da! Ask H S A J J D for Hilda's gift. And this is cool. Oh, anemones are so beautiful. Fishy fish, fishy fish, fishy fish, yay. Cool. So, we'll come back, but now now we have our major subplot, which is we need to get the gifts from every single person. A gift from every single person. Can you believe it? Well, everyone except Katie. Katie doesn't have a gift because Katie's not special. Poor Katie. So let's meet everybody and ask them for the gifts. You again? Hello, pirate. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something. So what if she did? Do you think I could see it? Tell you what, this chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me. And I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. Alright, so... This is good. It gives us an excuse to look through, uh, in poker, learn about the Royal Fush. Uh, Royal... Royal Fush? What? Royal Fish? Royal Flush! Royal Flush. Poker Fundamentals. Poker Fundamentals by Antiop. Antiop. And of course, chess by Castle Rook. Three four seven five. Three four seven five. That is the password to the lighthouse. So that's why it's good to look inside Holt's bag. Oh, this is a more difficult one. You need to figure out how to solve the puzzle. Good. So you want to move the rook to. Huh. 
to, um, uh... Huh. No? Where am I moving the rock? Huh. F6? Huh. No. Huh. What's the solution, everybody? Huh. Oh, no. My notes are wrong. Huh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. People, you need to help me out here. You people in the studio audience, help me out here. Tell me, tell me what the solution is. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? It's kind of a long story, but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay. If you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. You know, that muffin I had before was really awesome. Say no more. Mmm, that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? Oh, no. People in the studio audience have no idea what to do. Queen to something? Queen to something? I know it's the rook and then the rook. You need to move the rook twice. So which one is the rook? Uh, let's go back to Holtz. I can go to all the places that the rook can go. She's closed! Oh no, she's closed for the duration of the puzzle. Oh no. She's closed for the duration of the clamming puzzle because she's actually going out getting the necklace. So when Nancy finishes clamming, um, she will be back. Well, R is Rook, so it's the Rook to H5? Correct. Rook moves to H5. Oh, not F5, H5. So then I move the Rook. Now that the Rook is in H5, I'm going to move the Rook to F7. Oh, yes. H7. Checkmate. Hooray. So give me a second here. Let me update my notes. Okay, so Whale World. We're at Whale World, everybody, and this is Andy Jason. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? Hey, he's the guy who stands behind the desk. Okay. Um, yeah, guy who stands behind the desk. Ranger Acres, how's it going? Kitty Firestone told me you've been trying to buy out her business. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. You mean if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you? Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... Oh, Andy, you're already me? giving me jobs. Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! Yay, whales rule! Okay, so we want to make sure that these machines don't work for Nancy. Looks like I need a key card to play. And then we can ask him for a key card, and then I'll solve all of the puzzles there before doing the clamming thing. Hi, Nancy. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition. Which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. 
Okay, so Maggie, um, uh, one of the people in the studio audience, is saying that Andy looks kind of cute for a computer-generated character. Do you people agree? Do you think Andy looks kind of cute with his amazing fro and his flannel? Kitty takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers! As many as she can safely fit! Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won. And it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. So, Andy's got some sass to him. People are agreeing he has some sass. Um, some people are saying, yeah, maybe he's a little cute. Everybody loves the uh, bad pro. I mean, I come on. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Could I have a keychain? Sure. If you go on a Whale Watch. Oh, but that costs money! Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Oh dear. Okay, so, um... Here's what I wanted to show. I, I, I don't remember if I showed this in my original video walkthrough or not. I have, um, picture thingies, picture thingies. Uh, Andy Jason reminds me of this guy, um, who, uh, plays the character Axe in the Animorphs TV show. Oh, uh, I forget what his name is. It's like Colin something. But he's got the fro. He, he's got the plaid slash leather, you know, just saying. So that's what he would probably look like in real life. Oh, and people are saying that Andy's shirt is a fashion disaster. Oh, oh. Ow. Okay. I need to get at least 15. Two, three. Four. Four. Ow. I got 17. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Well, uh, people are wondering why Nancy doesn't have money. Well, Nancy doesn't have money. Um, she doesn't get uh, any money for her detective skills. Nobody pays her to be a detective. It's very sad and tragic. And her father makes her work for a living, so her father doesn't give her free, free money, even though her father is super rich. Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the sounds different cetaceans make. What's this? Just how good Andy's shirt is. is the culprit? The I think his, his hideous thing. shirt is the Press culprit. The the his shirt may or may it's not have been working with his out. afro. When all the buttons are lit, you've matched them all. Oh, right, and now we match the sounds. Yeah, I kind of agree. Andy Andy is rocking the flannel. I mean, who else in this game would wear flannel? I could see Holt wearing flannel, but he probably wouldn't he wouldn't look as good with his flannel, I don't think. So you were actually supposed to do this to learn what those sounds were, but you can solve, solve the puzzle without listening to the sounds. So this is a quiz. You need to figure out what the answers are. I think you have to answer like six questions without um, failing three times. The cetacean that can swim the fastest. Hooray! And I kind of 
like this, whenever you zoom in on the area, your card automatically um, snaps to the front of your inventory, which is nice. That's a nice little touch. That way you don't have to hunt through your inventory to find it. I'm playing easy mode. So here you want to eat fish. You get food for eating fish. I mean, you get points for eating fish. And if you get 20,000 points, you win. But every now and then you have to surface. And you want to avoid all these other critters, like the shark that ate me. Try again from the beginning. This is kind of nice music. Swimming, swimming, swimming in the ocean. This is sort of reminding me of Nancy Drew, um, whatever that fishing challenge is, in the other Nancy Drew game. White Wolf of Icicle Creek. There we go. Okay, sorry for getting a little bit too intense in the game. What are people talking about in the studio audience? They are talking about cute people in the uh, Nancy Drew games. Yes, Dave Gregory. He's going to be in the next Nancy Drew game and he generally wins contests for being the cute guy. I thought I was going to win the contest for being a cute guy. Oh. So this is the final thing uh, my girlfriend went to. Like I said, she talked to the characters there and then she did some stuff here. She was wondering what this has to do with anything. It's like, how is this related to the mystery at all? That's that's what Katie said. And like, Katie, you want to play the games because they're there and they're kind of fun, right? I won the whale watching tour. All right! Hooray! Hooray! I won a free whale watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. No, no. Could I? Could I have somebody else, please? Please, somebody to just, just to. Sounds great. Be in between me and your afro. Oh, nice birds. tour I get a free keychain right actually I only give them to paying customers but wh what now why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head okay okay thanks for your time whales rule yeah yeah okay thank you mr. flannel the flannel and the fro they work together don't you know Flannel and fro, flannel, flannel and frannel and jannel and throw and low and I can't sing because the song is weird. So with this puzzle, you want to recreate Caddy. Nah. Oh yeah. It gets kind of annoying when Nancy goes, nah. Hmm. Nah. Bingo. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Um, yeah. Nah. Hmm. Nah. I think this piece goes somewhere over here. Nah. It doesn't? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
So I think one of the differences between junior mode and senior mode is that Bingo. they give you more uh, pieces to work with. Bingo. They definitely do. Okay, confirmed. Um, they give you more pieces in. Good. In um, master sleuth mode. Oh yeah. Or senior mode. Bingo. This is good. Bingo. Yes. Bingo. 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 Bongo. Nah. Good. Yay, almost done. Hmm. This is another puzzle which probably takes hmm. you like 12 minutes. Good. Wow, am I a creative genius or what? <laughs> Christina says, have you ever seen a fish cry? No, but I have seen a whale blubber. And of course, the, the cutest Nancy Drew guy is Mr. September, and Nancy Drew's secrets can kill remastered. I just like that guy. Hi, Nancy. I finished. He's got his hair, together, which so isn't an afro. Yeah, it's amazing. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. Okay, so Hans, uh, Hans, BMD20, sorry Hans, uh, he says I need to look if at the, enough, uh, thing. The clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Yay, whales rule, yay, okay, this. Wow, that's a beauty, interesting. I do need to look at this, but not right now, I think you need to actually look at it later. So I need to go, um, whale, whale, um, clamming. I'll go clamming. Okay, well, you know what? I suspect that that, uh, uh, you know... Uh, who is the culprit? I think these guys are the culprit. Because they're rather fishy. God, I'm not picking them up. Woohoo! Oh, oh no. Okay, so clamming. Oh, that is not a clam. That that is definitely not a clam. So you need to go. You need to look at the right areas in order to clam. There's a clam. So here's a cheat for uh, clamming. You pick up the clam, then you look at the clam thing. Oh look, there's one clam. Now you look at the clam thing. Oh look, now there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, that is the fastest way to do clamming in this game, and you'll notice we get the victory music. Victory music. Oh, now I am as happy as a clam now. Oh dear, now now I'm getting even more riddles about uh <laughs> sea creatures. I better give Jenna the clams she asked for before I go poking around in there. Hi, Nancy. Oh good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. Oh, oh no. Really? Was anything stolen? What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. That does not count as cheating. Pe people are calling me a cheater for, for the clam things, but no, that does not count as cheating. I'm going to have to post that in the chat to let, uh, uh, the chat to let everybody know that. What's more, both doors were locked when I got here, and none of the windows were broken. 
It's like a ghost did it. Yeah, the clamming puzzle can take like 20, 15 to 20 minutes. We've got several puzzles which are long, sort of long puzzles. Would it be okay if I looked around? If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. Yay! So now we have this puzzle. You want to match pairs across all three screens, like like the person said. Did we have cheese? Oh, why am I so bad at this? Let's try screen three. Ice cream and ice cream. Okay, so that's part of the reason why this is difficult. Because you are, because I'm playing in the senior mode, I have to match pairs across all three screens. Like I did there. So I could have sworn I saw cheese somewhere. Oh, hey, got a match. Help me out here, everybody. There we go. Cheese and cheese. Two cheeses. Two cheeses. Okay, Tiffany is right. I am a cheater. I am a cheater. Oh, and my friend uh, uh, Rizzy Man is saying that I should throw away the sandwich rather than eat it. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Rizzy Man. If you admit that Batman and Robin is a fantastic movie, then I will throw away the sandwich. But if you will not, then I will let Nancy, you know, kill Katie with the ranched sandwich. I know there's another match on the screen. I, I, I can feel it in my bones. There we go. No, that's not it. Egg and egg. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. I'm slow at this puzzle, yes. Where's the other egg? Okay, so this is... This is... Oh, come on. Oh. No. No, why are you doing this to me, Nancy Drew? Why are you, why are you doing this? Bananas. Bananas! I found the bananas. Oh, oh. Okay, so, um, oh no. Looks like Katie is going to die. Oh well. My, my friend John is not going to admit that Batman and Robin is an entertaining movie. It is so bad, it is entertaining. Okay, we had the pear thingy. I'm not good at this on normal mode. Why am I why am I doing this on senior mode? This is okay. Okay, that's that's a mu muffin. Ooh. That's a that's a pot thingy. Okay, muffin. Let's find the muffin. Where was that muffin, everyone? Muffin? Muffin. Yay! This puzzle is taking forever, but yes, after this puzzle, it is relatively smooth sailing for the rest of the game. Um, relatively smooth sailing. Okay, egg, and I know the egg is here. There's an egg somewhere here. Please, let there be an egg. Okay. That thingy. Yes, that thingy and that that thingy. Yay! Strawberry and ooh, little key thingies. Yay! Okay, so let's look. Um. 
Okay. Uh, I'm lost. Pan and potato and sliced bread. Pan, potato, and sliced bread. So I'm going to look for those. There we go. And was this something too? Okay, so sliced bread, pan, and um, half an orange. You know, the Batman and Robin movie had Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Well, he wasn't governor at the time, but uh, uh, now I'm getting confused. Getting distracted. Okay, I'm looking for the pan or sliced bread. Yay! No, no. Ice cream. Where was that ice cream? Ooh, sliced bread. Uh, I saw the ice cream somewhere. Ice cream and ice cream. Where's the egg? Oh no, okay, I'm lost. Uh, hello, people in the studio audience. How are you going? Is there a quick... It would be nice if there was a quick, uh, like, the clams. I saved a lot of time with the clamming, so... Ugh. Slow. Fish. And fish. Okay. Mushrooms, cucumber. Mushrooms, cucumber. Ooh, there's the pan. Pineapple, pineapple. Okay, all that's left are the mushrooms and the cucumber. There's the cucumber. So I'm looking for the mushrooms now. Okay, there we go. Okay, screen number one is finished. I need to do screen number two. What 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 are people saying that what uh, Desert Row seven 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 saying that Arnold Schwarzenegger was not able to save that film? He made all sorts of horrible puns about ice and things. Come on, how could you not like ice puns? Also, they had the snow miser uh, in that movie, didn't they? They had a little clip from that. I'm Mr. Snow Miser. I'm Mr. Snow. Do 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 do. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Ten Below. Friends call me Snow Miser. Whatever I touch, do 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 do, starts to freeze at my touch. Ba 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 ba. I'm too much. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. That song is kind of long. Okay, let's see if I can make... That's a match. Flower and... Where's that flower? I don't know. You know, I haven't liked any of the Batman movies uh, ever since that one, which was like the mid-90s. Um, they decided the Batman movies are going to be like for adults and they're going to be all dark and stuff like that. I kind of like I kind of like Batman having comic book style adventures with Adam West and stuff. Cake. Cake. Where's the cake? Where's the cake? There we go. No. Uh. And a carrot. This is such a horrible puzzle. Oh my gosh. It's it's not even like close to fun. It it's it's seriously not.
Although I do have to agree that Batman in that movie was not very good, and neither was Robin, which is kind of a shame because it's called Batman and Robin. So it, it would be better if Batman and Robin were both good in their movie, which they are not. And Holt is not here for some reason, but I need to get the thing from him. Oh well. We're back to the actual game, everybody! Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. So here we have the final one. The final thing, which is going to be hearts. Hearts is going to be this one. So, um... I have not been to uh, the... the, the Somebody is asking, Vanilla Sweet 77 is asking if I've been to Six Flags over Texas. I have not been, I have not been to Six Flags over, over te Texas. So this one is going to be an ace, and then this is going to be a king. No, but this one isn't, isn't. Come on, Joker. Jack. I mean, Jack. That's what I meant. What was that? Uh, Nancy, that was this! I bet that's how those burglars got in here. Hooray! I can't see a thing. And I need a flashlight. <laughs> I like this happy music, happy music. And Holt is basically, yeah, Holt is protecting his precious lighthouse, which, uh... Hilda Swenson, the mayor, wanted to protect the lighthouse. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Sorry. You know, that muffin I had before was really awesome. Say no more. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Ah, uh, delicious muffins. Okay, so seriously, I needed to stop by and uh, talk to Holt because um, that's that's on my list of things to do. I, I um, yeah, that's kind of like majorly on my list of things to do. Like, it, as in things I need to do right now. So, um. Yeah, so we found the hidden passageway in this game. Hooray. Holt, please be here. Yes. Done with that chess problem yet? Check it out. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handles made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. Would you happen to have a flashlight I could borrow? Nope. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Nope. 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 Ah. So Holt, grumpy old man. He's a grumpy old man. Hey, what's going on? Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Would you by any chance have a flashlight? I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. What did you put in that thing? Oh man, I don't feel good at all. You gave Katie food poisoning? No, I mean, not exactly. Something in the sandwich I made for her didn't agree with her. Where is she now? Outside, leaning over the rail and, you know. Gee, man, I've never given any of your friends food poisoning. I'm sure it was just an honest mistake. Give it another try, Nancy. Just go easy on the salmonella this time. Very funny. 
So, um, why did that thing say one bum on it? Well, earlier on we thought that Holt had a twin brother, but it turns out he doesn't. There's only one of him. He is only one of the bums. I mean, there's just one bum. There are not two Holts. So, it, it's not... It's not the case that there is one Holt at the lighthouse chasing away Nancy and one Holt at the cafe doing his stuff. No, there is just one Holt altogether. We do not have two bombs, we only have one bomb. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Maybe I can use my handy dandy anagram buster to figure out what those strange words on Hilbo's gift mean. I like how Nancy puts them together in like one in um I think Nancy puts it puts the anagram buster I think she puts them down in this order no matter what Oh okay I see what's going on So, in uh, Junior Detective Mode, you, you get a list of possible anagrams. It looks like here, in Senior Detective Mode, you need to figure it all out yourself. It's okay, it's not that difficult. telephone number and we have some newcomers to the studio audience who have no idea what's going on hello newcomers to the studio audience who have no idea what's going on we are making Katie a sandwich fine I'm going to make her an ice cream sandwich with jellyfish no 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 I, I'm I'm sure jellyfish is not good. Let's call people, because we haven't called people in forever. You have reached the desk of Dr. Irina Predovicu. I'm away from my desk, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, and I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. Uh-oh. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Don? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it. Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. 
Oh, Casey. So let's call somebody else because you know what? We don't call anybody ever in these. We don't have to call anybody ever. So I'm just gonna do it. Or maybe I'll call later. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, it's Nancy. Just call to say hi. So, hi, and bye. All right, so let's make another sandwich. Mm -hmm. So does jellyfish make a good sandwich? Oh, no. Yeah, so how did Casey get Nancy's email address? I don't know. I don't know at all, but it seems dangerous. Okay, anchovies, you. Much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Expired mayonnaise? Nuh-uh. Baking soda? It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. <laughs> soda, Fist and hammer rather than arm and hammer. Oh, that's that's funny. Okay, well, peanut butter and jelly and ice cream. Three things of ice cream. So hopefully Katie will like that sandwich. What's up? Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. Womp, womp, See you in a bit. Enjoy. So. What is that smell? Yuck. Why, why does she have fish? Katie, what's up with this fish? What's up? See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Oh, okay. Um, never mind. We aren't going to talk to her about that. So, we got the, uh... Sorry, that was sort of a long puzzle. Sorry. Y you, you have to solve the, the puzzle with K Casey um, for something else later on in the game. The game won't progress unless you solve it, but the puzzle we were trying to solve, uh, the sandwich puzzle, gives us this thingy. The headlamp so we can explore the underground passageways which should be fun it will be more fun than a barrel of monkeys ice cream sandwich mm, yummy so go to the right elvis was here elvis was here elvis is the culprit elvis is the culprit he is now my prime suspect Any nails, thank you very much. Hooray! I think if you open this seven times, it's an Easter egg. Awesome! Ooh, balloons. <laughs> what is that FBI guy picture? Uh, seriously, the FBI guy picture, what is that? I, I want to know the story behind that picture because I seriously think that that seems I important. And this is a cairn. Yeah, lots of walking. So this is the game that taught me what cairns are. I didn't learn anything about whales, but I learned about cairns. I feel like I've walked for miles. So poor Nancy, she has to walk forever and ever and ever in order to get this. 
We have a oil spray, perfect for getting rid of rusty things. Where have I heard that sound before? And I think I had Nancy talk over herself. There's obviously more to this, like the other half of the picture. So if I had to complain about this game, uh, I'll, I'll complain later. Yeah, Nancy really should have brought her bike. Another Karen. So Karen, uh, you know, it shows where you can go and do stuff. So for example, I think there's one which leads here. Camping goods store. And there's one which leads us back to where we came from. Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? A trap door? No. Where does it go? It drops down into a tunnel, and when I explored it, I found trap doors going up into two other shops. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. Hmm. Maybe those stories about all those sailors getting Shanghai are true after all. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. You don't mean that. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. Only if you call the sheriff and tell him about it. No! Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. Yay! But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. So, Nancy just blackmailed Jenna. Nancy is the culprit. I don't have time to talk right now. Sorry. Totally the culprit. You again? Yes, it's me. See you around. Yeah, whatever. So now I'm going to go to the lighthouse. Because this is the second half of that huge puzzle that we saw with the underground tunnels. Shooby doo wop, shooby doo wop, doo doo doo. Doo 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 doo. What? Huh, what? No. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Nancy. Uh, it's Hannah. I, I seem to have gotten beamed by a chunk of lighthouse. Could you please pick me up from a flight tonight? It's airport 323. Oh, and bring a pack of ice couples. I've got a grapefruit on my head the size of a goose egg. Am I making sense? Oh, well, soon you see. No, Nancy. Okay, so, um, that's something I've never seen before, actually, of, um, Jenna not wanting the police involved. Why does, she, why does she not want the police involved? Suspicious. And this was, uh, what was the password? 3475? Yay, victory music. Right, you pull that so you can go outside. And now this goes down here. Yay, more victory music. This leads to a super secret downstairs area which we will not be exploring right now. And it connects to the caves, but check this out. Because I came in through the lighthouse, I can't get out through the tunnel. Yeah, they're connected, but they're not connected in a way that you can actually go from one to the other. So why are they connected? That's, that's my complaint. So here we need to find um, a good light bulb. It's either going to be this one or that one. I think it's randomly determined. 
And for some reason, Nancy cannot carry more than one light bulb at once, so you just have to hope you're lucky when, when you pick a light bulb. So now we go up here to the lighthouse. Hmm. Like I don't think the culprit. The bulb's missing. I don't think the culprit confesses to being up here and making a mess. I don't know who's actually been here. I think it's Holt because Holt just loves his lighthouse. Perfect. All right, that's good. And please tell me this light is good. Ah, uh, there we go. Yay! Okay, so now you want to send uh, Dashes and Dats, um, Dots, uh, wait. Five. We're sending the telephone number like Hilda wanted us to. Two. Three. Five. Five. Ooh, like, five. Why, why doesn't Nancy's bag, why isn't it large enough for more than one light bulb? Four. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Well, people are in the studio audience are saying if you pick up the light bulb and it makes a dinging noise, that means that means it's not good. I did play this game uh, one time where I picked up a light bulb. It didn't make a dinging noise, and the light bulb immediately died as soon as I tried to use it. So that's why I'm saying. It may take one or more tries to solve the puzzle. There are some fake light bulbs which look like they work, but they don't work. Oh, and I've solved the puzzle. Boy, this is the home stretch, kind of. Not Hello? really. Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. Not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsor. It's just that I kind of feel like I know you. More important, I know you. Or rather, I know I can trust you. Just in time, too. I have the feeling things around there are about to get out of hand. Trust me to do what? As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. Oh, great. I'm hungry. That'd be great. No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Okay, fun, fun game. Um, maybe not that fun. Too many puzzles. This is basically uh, the point of the game where we never see any other characters ever, ever again. We are going to be solving puzzles for the next... Uh, I'm gonna do it relatively quickly, probably like 20 minutes, but it's probably gonna take like uh, an hour for somebody who doesn't know what to do ahead of time. So both Casey and Hilda have figured out Nancy's email. Nancy, you've got insecure email. So the coordinates and some of these numbers are things, so you need to figure out what these numbers are. Like the number of cairns in the tunnel, well, that is five, so that's a five here. How many dollars? Jenna charges three dollars, so that's three, so it'd be west, one, two, three, oh, two, five. Casey wanted us to see um, the website. Hannah is having trouble because Carson has his day off and he is just causing causing trouble. Get him out of my hair. Okay. Casey wanted us to see this. The hot kettle was originally called the Royal Flush Saloon. Interesting. For the Royal Flush Puzzle, which we already solved. So where was my barefoot tracker? 
Yeah, Nancy basically just gives out her email to everyone, I guess. 42, 485, 123, 08, 735. Victory music. I don't know when it opens yet. Hello? Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. You're watching me? Right now? I told you I would be. I always keep my word, Nancy. I think it's the least human beings can do for each other. Now, here's your next mission. Listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I have many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. You also are a stalker. I mean, she's watching Nancy at this very moment. Do you watch everyone in Snake Horse Harbor? Is that how you know something fishy is going on? I'm a very curious person. I like to know things. Let's just leave it at that. Let's see, where was I? Ah, the device you just found. It'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. Oh, and hang up. But I want to go to town. Kayak. Is this it? Yay, kayak. Okay, okay, okay. So my complaint about um, the lighthouse not really being connected to the area under the hot kettle cafe, it's mainly because of this point, because now I have to go all the way back through the hot kettle cafe, even though it would be somewhat quicker to go through the lighthouse. Nancy has to do her walking forever and ever and ever. Okay, go right, go all the way forward, then go right, then all the way forward, and then you want to go left at the cairn. <laughs> People hang up on Nancy a lot. Yes, yes, you're right, Colleen. They do hang up on her a lot. Nancy just isn't popular. Okay, look for the cairn. Cairn. Another cairn. Okay. And the anvil rock. There's an opening up there. It goes to another tunnel. So we need to follow this uh, port, starboard, or in um, you know non-sailor terms, left and right. So we're going to go left, right, right, left, left. Okay, so left, right, right, then left, left, right, right. Right, then left, left, right, left, left. More coordinates, I should have known. Hooray! Oh, I love this music. Right, right, and then uh, left, left. Left, trying to solve this uh, backwards. Right, and then left, left, and right to the exit. Yeah, and actually, I'm pretty sure I can't escape through the lighthouse, can I? Yeah, I cannot escape through the lighthouse. I can't get out to the lighthouse. 
Then why are the two connected? When they're not really connected, it's just... Oh well. Past the Elvis was here sign. Take a left at the cairn and go up. And yes, basically no no interacting with the characters, like I said, just solving puzzles. Where was that waypoint? One, two, three, oh, eight, seven, nine, nine. Yay, music. That looks like my point is um, somewhere over there. There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. Okay, so I use zap to it here. Hooray! A lunchbox. until you tell me why this is so important to you. Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat and the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. One more thing. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sand walk, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel. Nancy's tired of them. She won't talk alone. to anybody. Pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottle. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I, you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. Yay. I better stay away from there. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. What did I? What? This I... is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. It's Nancy. Listen, I got a little careless and ignored some warning buoys and smashed into some rocks while I was kayaking. I'm okay, but Katie's kayak is ruined, and I promised her I'd replace it. So could you do me a big, big, big favor and fix Dad his favorite dinner so he's in a good mood? Then have him call me on my cell. Thanks, Anna. As usual, I owe you one. Oh, dear. Anyway, I didn't do that. Um, don't know why the game thought I did when I didn't. So let me save my game here. I want to I wanna do something. Uh, Save my game as danger. And uh, now let's off to real, off to real world, real world. Hmm. 
Nancy just isn't good at kayaking. I I, I blame Nancy. Hi, Nancy. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here. A guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel, and went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Jenna said the sheriff is baffled. So what else is new? Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Yeah, so the guy who does um, um, Andy's voice eventually uses that same voice for one of the Hardy Boys. There's some kind of symbols on those sails. I forget which Hardy Boy. Does he play Joe or Frank? I guess the one way to find out is actually call the Hardy Boys. Um, are they here? Can we call them? And he has an afro. Haha. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Hey. Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. Yeah, he Locking plays Frank. Someone, huh? Goldie. She's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy. How's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. I knew you were going to say that. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation. Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. <laughs> What was that? That was Goldie. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She's not housebroken? She's as big as an SUV, fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. That is craziness. What kind of dog is she? Great Dane. Yikes! How does somebody go about losing a Great Dane? Good question. Enough about us. Let's hear about this case of yours, Nancy. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If Whoa. you have coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. You found a geocache. I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure does. In fact, a GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say, a big brother to give his little brother for, like, say, his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. See you around the compass. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, you know, um, what was I saying? The guy who does Andy's voice um, does the voice of Frank in all of the later Nancy Drew games. So he basically does the same voice for uh, Andy and Frank Hardy. So what if Frank was kidnapped and replaced by Andy's afro? Oh man, what if Frank Hardy has an afro? He does have crazy hair in the 1970s Hardy's Boys. Anyway, that's where I was going with that. Yeah, just just interesting. I don't know. I, I find it interesting that the guy who plays, um, you know, uh, Andy and a bunch of other people eventually just stops doing voices and only does the Hardy Boy voice. He was Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! So, those three symbols we saw were... This one, that one, and that one. So this opens this thing which sort of looks like the carousel machine in Haunted Carousel. And now we actually get to see it going. Nice. I'm in the sea caves. Yay! So now we need to kayak over there. Where um, am I turning in the wrong direction? In the wrong direction. Turning in the wrong direction. So we are 
now have to we now have to kayak there. Dooby 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 doo wa ba ba da ba ba. So I'm in the sea caves, wrong sea cave. So this is pretty cool. Check this out. The hidden passageway leads here. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. No! Someone's trained her. She's not wild at all. Nancy was killed! No wait, Nancy's not wild. Check this out! This is a trained orca! Maybe she wants to play catch! Yay! Oh, well, that's cool. So, scuba gear. Harness? Somebody's harnessing the orca? What? No! Firestone. Those must belong to Katie. What? No, but, but... Hmm, so Katie is the culprit. Bye-bye. And apparently the orca is a super smart orca who knows how to play catch and dance and everything Hello. else. Hi, Nance. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. Going on. Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. But what? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I play fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. What do you think it's been trained for? In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. They were from the White Chapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the Librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh. Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Really, Nancy, you should not be using the kayak and and using your phone at the same time. Last time you did that, you crashed. Whoa, mystery! Katie is gone, so we can't talk to her. Which is kind of bad, because I wanted to talk to her about something. Yeah, oh no. Oh no. Um. Okay, give me a second here. I did save my game recently, right? So I'm going to save this as Danger 2. And then I'm going to load Danger 1, so I can talk to Katie one last time. See if there's anything new you can talk to her about. Sort of here, sort of the last time you get to talk to her. What's up? Oh, there isn't. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Okay, so you didn't you didn't miss anything at all um, by not talking to Katie. Well, darn! I thought we could talk to her about Benjamin Hawkins or something. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Yeah, I'm busy here, not doing anything. Um, you again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Well, it's a long story, but Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. They won't do anything. I don't have proof. Look, I'm not going anywhere. 
And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. Like, why does Nancy say she doesn't have proof? Because she totally has proof. She saw, like, the harness and everything. And she knows where all the stolen things are located. Nancy, you should think this through. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. Uh, oh well. So if you had tried to go to Andy Jason earlier, it, it wouldn't work. Oh well. Okay, so somebody in the chat is saying I need to talk to Andy about the bottle and then talk to uh, Katie about Hawkins. Let's try it. Might as well. You know, I want to see what Katie has to say about this Mr. Hawkins. And it's not like I'm going to play this game um, again very soon, right? And people in the studio audience are still talking about um, Joe and Frank Hardy. It's unofficial in one of the series. Hi, Nancy. That boat in a bottle you have is um, what was it? It was made by one of the first non oh, American Never mind. Uh, I, I, can I talk Benjamin over him? I, I mean, I'll talk over Mr. Fro. Kind of went bonkers after her husband died. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved hey, to this um, the I know town, it's... And went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! I think it's like the 1970s TV series where Frank and uh, Nancy are actually a couple. Which makes me feel bad for Ned because he's supposed to be Nancy's boyfriend. But it's like, oh no. Ned is okay, um, you know, people are talking about Ned, you know, Pretty Azuka says Ned is okay, but she's, or she or he wishes that Ned had a personality. I feel Ned has a personality, but he's not allowed to develop it, um, especially in the books, because it's like every book has a different author, and so they write Ned differently, and so he doesn't really have an overall personality, if that makes sense. They just write him as this generic guy who's hanging out because Nancy needs a boyfriend. And very few people actually write him like a real boyfriend. What's up? I saw a boat in a bottle at Andy Jason's place. He said it was made by a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid-1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. What else have you found out? He apparently had a major feud going with some sea captain. Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables, and go into hiding for days. What was the feud about? Nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. See you in a bit. Have fun. Yeah, so, um, Ned is, uh... Yay, so that's the conversation about Mr. Hawkins. Ned is, uh, you know, I think they do a good job with Ned in, in these games. Like, he was interesting and kind of interesting in Odd Lion Ashes. I, I liked him in The Captive Curse and The Silent Spy. He, he was very good in both of those games. And let us call George and Bess. Hello? Hey, Bess, it's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone, it's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat under my room. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? And now everybody's arguing about whether or not Ned was good in The Captive Curse. I like Ned in The Captive Curse. That's just me, though. Fine. Except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. What? Okay, so recently I've been reading the Nancy Drew Files series, the, the 1980s uh, Nancy Drew series, and um, Ned is really awful in those books because they want Nancy to be like this girl who has lots of romance and meets all these hunky guys, and that's a problem because she has a boyfriend named Ned. So they kind of like throw Ned in the background and they make him the jealous boyfriend, or they just really make him a horrible in that book series. So it's better for Nancy to cheat on him. So I feel, I, I just feel bad. Like, 
In Nancy Drew Files number one, Secrets Can Kill, Nancy just starts making out with Daryl Gray, the handsome uh, student body president, and I'm like, no, 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 no. And, you know, Nancy and Ned, they, like, don't even address it. She ends up kissing Ned at the end of the book. So, I mean, it, it's just... I'm just trying to say that book series just, just, just destroys Ned as a character. So I feel bad for Ned. Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Although some people are saying that they don't really like, um... The fact that Ned has always been a phone buddy. Um, Nancy's friends, Bess and George, are, have always been phone buddies, too. But you get to see what Bess and George look like in two of the games, Alibi and Ashes, and, um... Uh, yeah, um, um, number 20, Ransom of the Seven Ships. So you get to see what her friends look like in those games, but you don't get to see what Ned looks like. So maybe some people are feeling if we got to see what Ned looks like, maybe, you know, you'd have a, a face to put with the voice, and you'd feel more like a, a, a bigger character. Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with a whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? Oh, also people are talking about the, um, uh, hmm. The original Nancy Drew books, I think it's it's book number seven where Ned first appears in the in the seventh book. So, you know, for what it's worth, he, he's different in the older books than he is in, like, the newer books. Or even in this, um even in this video game series. Okay, so I'm getting off topic. We we're supposed to talk to these people. She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux! It's ruined! Oh, no! She wrecked her roux! It's not funny, George! Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Ruined gumbo? Is it gumbo foo? Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. Mm. She's hooked on this cooking show called Feasting for Fitness. Let me guess. It's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. Okay, well, um, to um, get back to what I was saying earlier about the Nancy Drew Files, the romance in that book series is just bad to begin with. Um, like, Bess and George always... Bess and George also jump in on the romance thing, and they have tons of boyfriends as well as Nancy, and it's just... Oh, it's... It, I don't think that the the series did a good job with romance. The 1980s Nancy Drew. Sorry, 1980s Nancy Drew. You're fun, but you, you really did not do a good job with romance. Sorry. When did all this start? Two days ago. Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. Holt Scotto caught me poking around the lighthouse and freaked. He all but chased me away with a stick. Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. Right. I found a letter buried in a box on the beach. It was written by this supposedly crazy woman named Hilda. What do you mean, supposedly crazy? Well, I was told that she went a little wacky after her husband died and became a hermit. But her letter actually made sense. What did it say? If she wants me to send her something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code. I hate to burst her bubble, but she sounds way wacky to me. Well, eccentric, maybe. No, we're talking Liberty Bell here, Nance. The woman is cracked. Be careful. Wow, Bess. Jeez, getting a little harsh on her. I better get going. Bess, do you smell something burning? Shoot! Bye, Nance! <laughs> I feel kind of bad that they had to change uh, George's voice for, um, I, I mean, that they did change George's voice. I don't know what the story is behind changing George's voice, but, um, 
this is uh, this George is done by uh, Jenna Kane. This is the only time she does George's voice, and I feel like they should have kept the same George because this is sort of a George-centric game in that Katie is George's friend, so George is more important to the storyline than Bess is. Hi, Nancy. So it just feels kind of like a letdown. It's like of all the games to replace George, this one game where George is kind of important. They had to replace her in this one. Oh well. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? It turns out that Katie's been feeding the orca. You're kidding me. Nope, I'm not kidding. I'm 100% serious. I'd really like to talk to her about that and some other stuff. But she and her boat are gone. Although I have an idea where she went. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Just partway. I'd like to try to sneak up on her. Sneak up on her? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please. This is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. See, Andy kind of looks better there, but you, you can't really see him, but he, he looks less crazy and scary there. With his flannel and his fro. <laughs> okay, so this is the end game sequence. End game sequence, everybody. So this is a puzzle where you need to hide from everybody. If the crew sees me, I'm done for. So here you hide to the left. And then you hear the guy. Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied. Especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. Hmm, you know, that sounded like Bill Kessler for a moment there, Mr. Canadian. Okay, so... What's in those? Those look like animal fur. So I need to hide again. Okay, we found out what was being smuggled. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss wants. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Sorry about that. Hide behind the pillar. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda nut job to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. That must be the orca I saw before. So here is Katie. She's the evil mastermind in her chair. She's probably petting her white cat and cackling to herself with glee as she makes her plans. Katie? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is not at all what I expected. Nancy. I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh. Listen. Someone's coming. Hide. Hide. Somebody with loud footsteps is coming, and if I don't hide immediately, Nancy is going to get caught by. Oh, no. Say good night, Nancy. What? 
Culprit reveal? Wow. Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy? If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. Somebody stop her! Ah, run, 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 run. I hope the door doesn't slam in front of my face. Why does this always happen? Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident, or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I knew it. It was his afro. His afro is the culprit. Say good night, Nancy. Good night? I have rocks. Throw rocks at him, Nancy. Oh no! I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along. And I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try. But I can smell a bluff a mile away. An Argo You're about bluff. To become the victim of Wait. an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, grab this and throw it in the water. Throw it in the water now. While Andy is just standing in place staring at you. What did you do that for? Say good night, Nancy. Way to go, buddy! Orcas are better than Afros. Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist. Okay, so Hannah in the studio audience makes a good point. Do people still think that Andy is cute now that we know he is a culprit with an afro? Using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail. Jenna is serving more cram chatter than ever. Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all. The orca is getting along mm -hmm. great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans. And I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left, I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you-know-who saying goodbye. Yes, whale one, afro zero. Victory. I kind of like the picture of uh, Andy in his uh, yellow jump, I mean orange uh, jail jumpsuit. And um, I found the Easter egg. Yay, hooray. I also kind of liked how um, Katie was wearing a different outfit for the ending sequence. That was pretty cool. Hey, fellow detective. Ever been to a ranch? I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadow Ranch, and I can't wait to go. You're invited, too, but I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. Ba -do -ba -do. Ah, Phantom Horse! Nancy Drew in The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Oh, okay, so people are saying that Andy might be cute, but he's evil on the inside. Was he really evil, or was it his afro? Hmm. 
We never did find out who Holt was running against for Harbor Master. Was he running unopposed? I think he might have been running unopposed. I like I like the wrap of this book. Okay, Jenna is uh, not book game. Jenna Jenna is serving more clam chowder than ever. She's still giving it away for free. Maybe. hoping they would put um, better music to the credits. I mean, this is okay music, but I, I prefer the upbeat music. Hmm, Julie Raleigh. Was the wood expert, and one of the Hardy Boys was a uh, something Raleigh. I wonder if they're related. Maybe they're related to the Raleighs and Nancy Drew. Hey, <laughs> secret of Shadow Ranch. And thanks to the Wheel Museum in Washington. Yes, we defeated the man who has no talent. And a note to people who are interested, Deception Island is fictitious. You can go to the San Juan Islands if you want to, but look out for Caddy. Okay, thank you very much for watching, everybody.